All right, all right, all right, Leo. What it be, yo? It is Mira, it is She Ra, it is Vibra, it is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. The party has just begun. What's up, baby? What's popping? All right. Shout out to all my OG, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to everybody who's like, share, subscribe, and pick and click this video. Um, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or hit the about tab on my youtube page it gives you various ways to support and communicate with me um send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and i'll get you all on the schedule okay 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 so if there's anybody that would like to just send overall support and love the best way to support my page is number one by hitting that uh, thumbs up hitting that like button that's the best way to support um and i want to give a big shout out and love to everyone because we do have two new decks on the table i bought out some of my old school decks that i don't use that often and we're just about to get into this energy today you guys so um let's give father god his praise his recognition his love let's give him his flowers uh before we get into any of this energy so if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me let's say a quick prayer Leo, thank you so much for um, coming in today. Father God, we thank you so much for shining your light, giving the strength, giving the positive encouragement, the positive reinforcement and thoughts for the sign of Leo. Father God, we feel strong. We feel determined. We just feel triumphant in this season, Father God. You know, our birthdays are coming around, Father God. So we just say thank you for that. Hello, hello, hello. We are reloaded. Father, we thank you so much for just putting your hands on us, just guiding us, just giving us the fuel, the, the jet fuel that we need to go on our way. You know, we feel like we're racing to the finish line. We feel like we're leaders. We feel like we're protectors. We feel like we're champions, Father God. And we thank you so much for just giving us all of the just encouragement and the determination to survive and, again, champion through this season, Father God. We thank you so much for just staying steadfast and you know giving us the glory because they don't know our story father god please give us the guidance and the nourishment and the daily bread that we need father god uh for the month of august we thank you so much for the blessings and the lessons and all of the beautiful things that are coming ahead that we have yet to receive father god but we believe in our path please give us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of leo for august 2021 thank you thank you thank you and amen and amen and amen amen so let's get into this leo let's get into this energy. all right so let's see what we got going on all right give us the guidance for leo for august 2021 Thank you so much. All right. Hey, can you guys come and close my door? I'm recording. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for Leo. Okay. All right now. Thank you, guys. All right. Ooh. All right, so this is the card that we got for Leo. So I feel like you guys are definitely walking into a different threshold right now. This is like some about like, um, I want to say doorways, pathways and things like that. I want to say it's about even looking into like old memories. Because oh, to, to, to me, like each one of these little doorways of these windows right here it tells a different story about a different place where you were in life different memories i like how that rainbow was kind of shining real bright out of this one like this seems to be your destination of peace of home of happiness each one of those different placements they tell a different story where you at in your life i want to say sometimes you go into this inner uh you go into this, I don't want to say a dark space, but you go into, oh uh, yeah, I want to say like this dark space in your inner mind. Like, these are your thoughts. 
when you go into that dark space, it is it's like you picture yourself being in the beach and you looking into the galaxy and you seeing all of these different moments, all these thoughts, all of these different periods of your history. Like this is where you guys are at right now. I definitely see happiness shining out. I feel like you're so far away from... You're far away from old placements in time where I want to say that you didn't feel covered. Like all the way back here. I don't know why I see this one all the way back here. It seems so dark. It seems so gloomy. It seems like that was at a place, a point in your life where you had no understanding. This one, you were just shining. You're glowing. Happiness. You see all of the colors of the chakras all of that stuff is just like shining out let me see exactly what this card means because i just be going off the of intuition with this deck here it says distance isolation and perspective distance not only gives nostalgia but perspective and maybe objectivity Physical distance or emotional detachment serves to give us a greater comprehensive view. Distance may also provide a clear overall perspective than a close up and being so close up would. From this vantage point, we often get the big picture and reach different conclusions. A solitary woman slows, scrolls a desolate beach. Her isolation provides her a point of reflection. Distance from influences of others. This is a scene of personal contemplation. The floating mollusks provide perspective and suggest distance with greater emphasis than would an empty sky. Perhaps representing issues in her life. Their distance reaffirms her isolation, but also provides her with a perspective and clarity of vision that she is seeking. We need to strike a balance when assessing situations. Are we too closely involved or should we step back? So remember, I was saying that it's like you going into that dark space within each other, like a just complete solitude and just quietness where you're going in your memory bank you're looking at different memories different thoughts different places where you were in your life and I definitely see that you're seeing some light and some balance through this window here so let's see let's continue to go on and see what's going on here I love how you're dressed up with all of that blue all of that blue gives me a lot of throat chakra, a lot of third eye chakra. So it's like, I know what I want. I know what I see for myself. This is you definitely going within before you come out. Definitely going with everything you come out with your thoughts and what you really want to say. How you're going to approach whatever this is. Give me guidance for Leo. You got the Eight of Swords. I know that's right. Coming out of some type of mental blockage. And you got the Nine of Wands. Okay. All right. So, what this is basically saying, like, you you feel like there's some type of blockage. You feel like there's something that you need to protect yourself from. And I feel like you don't want to feel like that anymore. And instead of you allowing whatever it is to take a mental hold on you where you feel like you are being restricted. You can't just walk away. You can't break away. Um, you feel like someone is denying you your freedom. Because even when I, even, I don't know why I want to think, like, I don't know if it's someone that is being released from imprisonment. Because with that, with that nine of wands, I feel like there's some type of guard. Like, I want to say that there is some type of prison system or something like that where it's like heavenly guarded. And in the reverse, it's saying someone being released, there's no 
protection guarding your escape or your ability to be able to walk away to freedoms it's like the guards have been removed like the doors have been opened the shackles have been released like someone is being released that's kind of what i'm getting here i want to say someone is being taken out of the system Someone is being taken out of the system. And, and, and again, with this, I want to say someone has been given a lot of time to think and reassess memories, uh, reassess, I want to say their sense of values. Give me one more card for this one. Tell me what's in that door. Tell me what is, is in that door, what they're taking a peek at. I want to say that they've been taking a peek at their future. Someone has really, because something was so heavenly guarded, I don't know, it could have been your thoughts. Because it could be like you could have been even thinking about... It's like in releasing your personal thoughts. You could have been keeping it heavily guarded because you might not trust the people around you. Uh, I want to say some people may not take the same approach as you do. So, again, like the Nine of Wands can be like someone letting their guard down and being caught off guard and being kind of like, battle weary so it's like you could be weak you know what i'm saying or tired or fatigued and it's like as soon as you let your guard down and it's just like that's when the unnecessary comes forth and tries to attack and it's like god here i gotta go in gladiator mode again and i'm tired but i have enough energy to defend myself at all costs like i'm going to defend myself at all costs um I don't know why I felt like I needed to say that as well. But, um, and excuse me. Uh, I just, okay, I just heard someone is being released with a different attitude, with a different perspective, with a different goal. Um, yeah, the three of wands. It's like you have a, a a different outlook in life. It's like when you are being released, it's like you're not going back. You have a totally different objective. You have a different release, a lease on life. You have a totally different lease on life. It's you waiting for your transportation to come and you're going on your way. It's like there's no looking back. Like there's absolutely no looking back. It's like someone is finally... I want to say escaped opposition. It could have easily been like someone wasn't looking. They let their guard down. They let. It's like this. Um, I want to say someone feels like the system failed them because. Someone feels like they've been trapped up in an institution for no reason. But at the same time, it gave them some time to balance some clarity within their inner mind. Because this is like, I want to say someone that could be a very emotional creature. And they've, con and they've kind of gone through various different obstacles throughout their lifetime. Um... I don't know if you would if you kept yourself restricted from others to keep yourself out of harm's way and now you're finally releasing your thoughts, releasing your uh goals, so you have a different objective, you have a different uh voyage as you can see you're dressed, ready to communicate, really being a I want to say like a force of nature here. It's like you're coming out strong. With determination, a set of skills and goals, you're not looking back. It's like you're only focused on what is forward. 
this is a card of transportation you're being transported so it's like someone who was once was restricted is being released it's being let go and is receiving transportation and this person I want to say definitely does have a different set of goals and objectives They said that they're trying to see where they get released to. Because I want to say with this response, someone could just be just going with the flow. Um, I don't know why I'm saying all of this. Let's just continue to go. You got change. Listen, change. Someone is being transported. Someone is moving. I want to say someone could be moving to an unknown destination. Yeah, like someone could be moving to, I want to say to a bar, somewhere like overseas or something like that. Someone could be moving, 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 moving. I want to say in a, in a matter of like months or something, it's like some type of permanent destination. I want to say someone could be, be someone could be shipped off somewhere, or I, I don't want to say deported, but um, not deported, but like yeah, I want to say someone could be. I don't want to say like released from prison or, cause the Eight of Swords could be prison. Or it could be someone that was just trapped up or cooped up in their own mind. And it's like, when I when I release myself, when I let my guard down, I just want to go someplace peaceful and beautiful. That's why I see my life now by the beach. So it's like, you could come out of solitude, of solitary confinement, of you confining yourself there. And decide I just want to pick up and move because I don't want to feel I don't want to feel like I have to protect myself I don't feel like I want to have to explain or even lock my doors like I want to live somewhere where I could completely leave my house a lot like I have my little servants people that work for me and like I'm good with that I'm gonna pack up everything I'm headed forward. I'm not looking back. My destination is the beach. <laughs> like I feel like someone is moving to a far destination where I want to say like they don't know anybody. They're just able to pick up and just move forward and relocate and start for a new. Give me guidance. Yeah, it's like someone wants to relocate across these. It's either that or someone could be released or they're being deported. You got the Seven of Pentacles and you got the King of Wands. So you got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So that is like something about it has something to do with I want to say somebody was released before they were ready or it's like before I want to say it was long overdue but before something was ready I want to say it could have been premature. God, why do I want to say, I want to say, was someone a preemie or something like that? But it was like steady, ready to grow. It's like something might have been done premature, but it was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it, it was going to grow perfectly you know what I'm saying like regardless of it could have served like you could have served more time 
But it was like you were ready to go. You would have survived. You would have you would have did fine. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like this could have been someone that didn't have a planned pregnancy, and there could have been some mental stress about the labor or something because or uh could have had some fear about not being able to do this because the eight of swords is like some type of restriction stress mental i want to say like a mental health mental in institution uh is this mental institution I don't want to say that, but it's like, um, Jesus, I don't want to say that. But it's, again, it's something about some type of release, some type of blockage, something, um, I don't want to say that you got, someone got released prematurely. It's like maybe some some people could have felt like they could have served some more time, but it's like no, this person has demonstrated signs that they're ready. You know, um, I feel like this person has served enough time. It's like they don't, cause you even see how this person is drawing circles in the sand. It's like this person could have been waiting a long time for their release, for their release date. It's like it could have been overdue. You know what I'm saying? Overdue, but not yet finished. And like someone just like, man, let me just release this person. Like this person has served enough time. This person is ready to go with the King of Wands. So it's like you could have reinvented yourself. You could have shown power you could have shown determination you could have shown skill and again willpower it's like some level of inner strength and again with this level of isolation it gave someone some type of balance where I want to say others have made a deciding factor for them that it's it's, it's time for this person to move on I see more colors. I see more vibrancy. I don't see this person being guarded and held back, like not in letting people around them or being defensive or something like that. I, that's why I'm saying I want to say that there could have been something about mental health for somebody. Um, because it's either someone kept themselves in some level of seclusion or there was like a legitimate incarceration. Um, there's moving. There's someone being uprooted. There's a lot of change happen happening for someone. So if this isn't physically, this could definitely be mentally where it's like onward thinking. Because this is like Someone studying abroad, traveling. So it's like you could be around a lot of different cultures, a lot of different people where it's like broadening your horizon where you realize like the world is bigger than just your neighborhood and your standard of thinking. You realize that there's different cultures, that there's different ethnicities. There's a lot of unique qualities about a lot of people. So it's like being open to other things, being a little worldly, being more diverse, um, being open to traveling more and, and getting out into the air, smelling the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something about that. Give me guidance for the uh... Okay, you got the Queen of Pentacles. That queen of pentacles you got the three of clubs and the queen of clubs so this is showing that i want to say there's an increase in popularity um i want to say the queen of clubs is always a very positive card because this is a person that is a go-getter that has a, a very bright personality very uplifting cheerful 
this is a helper. She has like this magnetic quality and this like almost like a magical touch to kind of get things her way. Uh, the three of clubs could be like an introduction. Um, someone, uh, yeah, I want to say like an introduction. Like you could be introduced to the queen of clubs. Someone may be introduc introduce you to a new social group. Um, this could even be like a sports, like some type of athletic something or another. You could be introduced to the queen or someone could think of you as like the queen herself. Like you could be what someone looks at as, as a leader and they may want, like they may be describing you to someone God, why do I feel like they may be describing you to someone? It's like, yeah, you would be a good resource. A, a good a Why is someone saying a good avenue to go to? Someone's saying we need to go down this avenue of talking to this person. Um, I feel like she, she, he or she will open up to us and give us a lot of amazing ideas. It's like someone has like a bright mind or something. It's something about being adjusted to a new group to a new setting getting to know new people camaraderie it's like working together um again i want to say something about popularity it's something about your popular something about your ideas like something is like you're far seeking like you'll go to the depths like emotional like remember when i was saying earlier it's like Someone goes to that like dark, quiet space within their mind. It's like you know how to balance your chakras. You know how to meditate. You know how to quiet your mind and to block the world out. Again, like to seclude yourself, you know, and go into this deep inner mind. And it's like you hear the ocean. You can smell the sea. You see these open windows and each one of them has a different view, a different depiction of something, a different avenue, a different resource, a different emotional touch to a situation that I want to say alters the outcome. I want to say you're more forthright, you're more open, you're more expansive. I want to say you're not scared of, I want to say defeat. You see what I'm saying? It's like before you were closed off, you were restricting yourself from talking, you were being guarded and defensive. I don't feel like you're like that no more. Again, I want to say someone could have receive some type of mental health counseling or something like that and it's like now they're all fired up they're ready to go they feel like they're a leader they feel more in charge they feel victorious and eh, i'm not going to win all i'm not going to get compliments from everybody do you understand i don't have to get defensive i don't have to be guarded about my ideas i can share some like i got no one to hold them no one to fold them like there's something about like more of a positive outlook and attitude about something. Let me read this. It says the queen of clubs, sociable, independent, self-assured, strong, confident, outgoing, flirtatious, sensual, feminine, a passionate lover, very sexual, creative, and playful. Um, she indulges in gossip, entertains drama, temperamental attracts others easily and secretive definitely describes the queen of clubs totally does totally does um this says leadership recovery accountability this is the three of clubs pouring from a full cup Past experiences will assist in future relationships remember when i said you're more Communicative, you speak more with this blue on that third eye chakra. You're able to look at the past to understand the future. You know, third eye is understanding, deep vision, deep, you know, clarity. Do you understand? So it's like you know that you're so far from, I guess, the darkness of shit that you've experienced. Anyway, let me just go. 
planting new seeds, new found confidence, good outcomes, solid foundation, expanding horizon, growth, higher learning, financial success, turning your pain into gain, wholeness. But this also means like clubs is working, right? It's like you and your partner have a very good idea and you feel like this is a positive uh, and a lucrative business exchange. We just need um, a sponsor. We need someone to sponsor this event. We need someone to help uh, invest, an investor, into our business that me and my best friend, we want to take this off the ground. Would you be willing to work with us? So, like, that is, you know, the three of clubs. It's like finding someone to work with you, helping people, being around people that can coordinate something for you, give you some advice a helping hand someone that is teaching you something someone is helping you learn or gain some type of hierarchy um so quickly let me tell you guys what the, what this means from my understanding let me see clubs three of clubs practical development in business or social matters Expanding opportunity, growth, and advancement. The use of common sense and good judgment. The development of a business or enterprise. A three-way deal or partnership. Business collaborations of three or more people. A clover leap. Good luck. Fortune and circumstances. Sur something growing. Plants, hair, nails. Increase understanding or expanding one's knowledge base by learning new things. It could represent formal training. Or self edification. So again, like I said, I feel like someone has come a long way. Someone has come a very long way. There's no looking back. And especially with this one here, your new destination, you're going to be planted there. Going to be planted. So I definitely see movement. I see someone being released it could be from your own confinement you're ready to come out you're ready to expand you're ready to grow you're ready to be around people that can again i like how it said turn pain into profit i like that i like that so let's get into love and then let's wrap this up you guys someone is definitely being released you're not being heavenly guarded anymore. You feel, I want to say like a new spark on life. It's like you've been held back long enough. There's no need for that anymore. Time to get to this new destination. Let's see what we got here. We got distorted feminine. Oh, goodness. And then we got self-respect. So this definitely, okay, this up here, I don't feel like this has to do with actual prison incarcer incarceration. This could have for someone in a general energy. Um, but if I'm relating this general energy into the love with this distorted feminine and self-respect, this has to do with incarceration of the mind and someone keeping their self held back because it has something to do with self-belief and self-respect of their self, knowing their worth, knowing that they're deserving of happiness. That is the main thing for me. Because the deserving of happiness is the most important thing that I want to bring up here. Especially in regards to the self-respect. The seven of penny of pen, pentacles. Look, I was about to say the seven of pennies. So, but let's keep it real. The seven of pennies. This is someone that could have gone through multiple cycles with the same person. And isn't gaining anything from the experience. It's like it's time to level up. 
It's time to level up. Your it's quality. It's about quality. Look how many times she just sat there. How much time have you wasted sitting up here trying to squeeze juice out of a turnip? Do you understand? Pay attention to what you're investing your energy in. And it has to do with a lot of self-respect because if you really paid attention and loved yourself and knew you would deserve better, you're not stupid. It's like you're not stupid. You know what I'm saying? You're not stupid. You know that you could deserve better. You know that you deserve better. That's why that di distorted feminine came up in self-respect. So I want you guys to really take a good look at these cards. This is not showing up for no reason. There's a lot of positive cards in that deck. That's just like any cards could have came out up here. But again, it's someone needing to level up. And again, you could need to get some level of assistance. It could have to do with mental health. Teaching someone to release, to move on, not being so defensive and guarded. Um, again, I feel like someone, mm, I want to go here real quick before I get into the tarot for love for my Leos. Give me guidance here. There's some type of distorted feminine energy here with the Leo. And again, I, yeah, the distorted, it has something to do with emotional emotional something something about being guarded and defensive so okay and I knew it it says you deserve love but then you got unrequited um, love it's that it stop trying to force something that doesn't fit you deserve love but the right kind of love stop giving into these relationships with people that you know are not very becoming like not these, these people are, are, are trash like basura like no do you understand like don't waste your time stop giving into like you deserve better that's like someone going in the grocery store and out of all of the fruits in the grocery store you gonna pick the rotten looking apple the one with the with the dent in it that look like it's all mushy around the back like you ain't pick the apple up and search all around and make sure it wasn't rotten like ew like why would you buy that do you understand what i'm saying like you start like some people believe in that having something is better than not having nothing at all that's a fucking lie because the seven of pentacles in the reverse, because like you, you could have given something too much time. It lessens your value. It devalues you. You know, and the eight of swords could be like you needing to come out of your mind, feeling like you're trapped in something and you're fucking not. You're not. The only person that's keeping you there is yourself. Stop feeling like you have to defend yourself. Stop feeling like you, you, you have to keep putting up with this battle and, and, and this fight. Like this is a, a, a worthy, a worthy less fight. It's not worthy of your attention. It's not worthy of your energy. It's not worthy of the bruises and the scars and the things that you're suffering through. You could just walk away. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or... You might not necessarily even be in the in the fight right now, but it's just the people in general. You don't have to do, self respect will take you a long way. This distorted feminine energy, or I don't know if this is a a a, a Leo male that has an attraction to things that they shouldn't be attracted to. You just you deserve love, but the right type of love. The right type of love is worth waiting for. Don't go and grab the low hanging fruit just because you you tired of waiting for the ripe fertile fruits to, to, to come into your life. Like, no, 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 no. You are lovable. But listen, if there's something wrong, allow it to be wrong and continue to wait 
for the right type of energy to come into your life. Don't just no, there has to be some change here. There has to be some change. There has to be movement. And again, the three of clubs has to do with getting help, getting assistance, someone helping you work something out to make sure that it's beneficial for you. People want to see you win, you know? So you got to surround yourself and take resources and take information from people that want to see you win. Because I don't like seeing the distorted female, the distorted feminine. Then you got the Knight of Swords, you got the Warrior. This has to do with controlling your mind. This has to do with, this does have to do with mental health. I'm sorry. This has to do with mental health. This has to do with a lot of worrying and negative thinking. This is something that only you can release yourself from. You got to work harder to only think positive things. Positive things. Your thoughts as clear as water. Anything that's bringing you any type of, of stress, worry, insecurity, it's not worthy of it. And if you do need to go, listen, some people need to self-check their self. If you catch yourself always thinking negative shit, always worrying about some dumb shit, or you, you, you're always in your head about something, what's wrong with going to go seek some therapy? Listen, that... What's wrong with going to go seek some therapy? I'd rather you pull from a full cup than a half empty one because you ain't getting no sleep. And you thinking people are trying to come after you and people are attacking you and you just and keeping yourself secluded and locked up from people because you're worrying about things that may not even be there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So sometimes when I see the nine of swords, it can have something to do, especially with the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Like, this can have something that most definitely do with mental health for me. And it's like attracting the wrong type of individuals because you're, it's a distorted image of thyself. Especially with the self-respect and you, like, you got to understand your mind is very powerful and if you don't control it, you know what I'm saying? You have to control it. And if you need to get some help and therapy, please get it. There has to be some change. There has to be better communication. And then communication is even in your thoughts. Give me one more card. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands again. Okay. So we got the Queen of Wands, and then we got the Hierophant in the reverse. So this has to do with like some type of untraditional, um, someone likes, someone does not like, um, I want to say tradition. They have a very unique way of thinking. They're beautiful. They're powerful. They have a lot going with them, but I feel like uh, they don't. They don't like restriction. They like to roam free. They don't like rules. And again, I don't know if this could be something about a worry about a, a rules being broken or someone not being able to fulfill some type of contract or something like that. Um, It's like someone feeling like they're not marriage worthy. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know. It's like uh, why you would feel like that. It's like I'm beautiful. I'm powerful. I'm talented. I know that I exude sexuality. And I want to say even confidence too. But. It's something about someone feeling like either they feel like they would cheat on someone, like they don't like to be confined and be restricted. Um, they don't want anyone to accuse them of anything. Um, because again, the Knight of Wands can be 
and again, it's like someone wanting their freedom to travel to Rome, and again, like to travel. Like this is this has something to do with traveling and freedom, and to be able to expand and. Like the seven of pentacles in the reverse can do with impatience. Like, I don't have time to wait. I'm going to go over here for a little bit and and I'll come back and I'll check on you later type of thing like that. It's like some quality of no staying power. No, uh, I want to say no dependability. Something like that. You got the Queen of Wands, you got the King of Wands. I don't know. I feel like it's this awkward encounter where it's uh and then I feel like you guys go into this inner mind thing. It's like, well, what do I really want? Do I want to stay here or do I want to be free? Or do I want it's like I, uh ugh ugh. Someone doesn't like to be caged in, someone doesn't like to be trapped. I don't know if this is a male trying to date a Leo female that does not believe in marriage, that does not believe believe in being com confined, being trapped. They like to roam, but whoever this is likes their freedom. Um, they don't like to be boxed in. They don't like to be caged in. Um, there's someone here that needs to look at their level of self-respect and look at what they really deserve. Like, do you want a distorted? You want you want a person like this? Like, this is not the, the marriage type. And you got to understand, there are some females that are just like not the marrying type. They like to roam too. They like to do their own thing too. So, in... Mm, this is not the person that's going to sit there and wait around and put in a lot of energy and effort with you to sit back and watch something grow. This person is not that. That's not that person. That that is that is not that person. I feel like this person may be thinking, "Ah, oh, this is just totally on love." This person may be going inside and trying to think about what they really want. Like, do I really want people accusing me for? Staying up all night doing what I want to do and like I um I wouldn't know I just whoever this is that wants a relationship with this type of energy right here I don't feel like you should you should love yourself better and think about what you really want this person does not think that marriage is in the cards for them that's all I can say anyway but but that's all folks Leo <laughs> it's been it's been good y'all hit the fucking like button y'all let me know how this is resonating for y'all down in the comments all right. Peace.